In this video, I want to extend our Spring Security JWT project with a custom user and a custom user detail service. We are going to extract the users from a database towards the end of this video. I want to start this tutorial with the database. This is the same database we used in the Spring Security series. The database has three tables. Users. Authorities. And the auxiliary table users authorities. We have three users and three authorities. Is the MySQL workbench you can see how the tables are created. We start in Eclipse with the Maven Palm XML file. We have three new dependencies. Starter Data JPA. MariaDB Java Client. And Lombok. Next is the Application Properties file. The most important ones here are the configuration of the database. I am using the Maria database. If you want to use another database then you need to change these details. The next classes are the user's entity class with a whole bunch of fields and a relation to the authorities class. The authorities entity class only has two fields and no reference to the relationship. We conclude the database section with the user's repository interface. This interface has two custom methods. Find by username and find all. Note the entity graph annotations these serve to maximize the use of the relationship. The following classes are there for the security part. The MyUser class extends the user class with the additional fields from the database. Finally we have the MyUser details serves. This class makes the connection between Spring Security and the database. This class is an implementation of user details service and implements one method. Load user by username. Here the user is loaded from the database. Check if the username is correct and the roles converted to a set of granted authorities. At the end, a new my user is returned. Last we have the security config class. The class has been modified in a number of places. The in memory user details manager has been removed. And the my user details service has taken its place. Because the users now come from a database, we now use the bcrypt password encoder. At the very bottom, we have reintroduced the success event method and the failure event method. We already used it in the Spring Security series. All other classes have not changed. We can now start the project and see what happens. After starting our project, we look at the console from Eclipse. I want to show you the results of the success event and failure event. Each time we see which class we are logged in with and the name of the user. The class we are logging in with in our case is either username password authentication token to retrieve the token with the username and password. Or JWT authentication token to retrieve a page with a JWT token. If we make an error in the login then we get a failure event. I want to omit the test with insomnia this time because otherwise the video will be too long. In the next tutorial I want to show how we can pass more information with the JWT token and how we can retrieve that information from the token at login. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.